Okay, well, Nathan Pond, uh, what a game to look forward to. The first time in your long career that you've, you've played competitively a Premier League side? Yeah, it's uh, my career and, and for the club as well. And uh, the added bonus of it being less than, obviously, the league with Jamie Vardy, it's, uh, it's a good day for the club. Have you actually had words with Jamie? Have you spoken to him or texted him since the draw was made? Uh, a few texts, but uh, not spoken to him, no. But uh, a few texts, obviously... Uh, you want to get a shirt, don't you? That's the first thing on your mind. But obviously, we're going trying to beat him. But uh, it'd be good to see him tomorrow, well, Saturday even. That's of course if he plays. He has got a bit of an injury at the minute, so. Uh, I'm not, you see I'm not sure about his injury. I know he didn't play the last game for Leicester, so I'm not sure if he's going to be available or not. But he said he, he will be at the grounds, so I'm still going to have to catch up with him. We'll talk about Matt Fleetwood in just a second. But I mean, his career has gone on to to. Amazing things, amazing heights. He's, he's a household name now. He's famous, isn't he? Did you ever see, envisage that he would one day become the player that he is today? When, when he was here, well, I didn't think he'd be an England international, uh, hold the Premier League scoring consecutive game record. You never thought that, but you did know he had something about him. Obviously, the level he was playing at the time was the conference, and uh, sometimes it looked too easy for him. Uh, but He's got good work rate, good attitude, and he's took that into the Premier League, the way he closes his defenders down, and his work rate for the team, uh, he was doing that for us, so when I seen him doing it in the Premier League, it was no surprise. Are you surprised by the quality of some of the goals that he scores these days? Did, did you ever think that, that he, he could score those kinds of, of, of goals when he, when he was here? Uh, he scored some very good goals for us, but it's a different level doing it in the Premier League, but obviously he's got better as a player, working with top players and top coaches. And obviously, it's a confident lad as it was, so after he starts scoring a few goals, his confidence will be up. So he has got some great goals for Leicester, but uh, like I said, it didn't really surprise me. Potentially, you could be marking him on Saturday, so what kind of challenges does that bring for you? Uh, like I said, speed is his main asset, and uh, anyone don't give you a moment's peace. So if you, if you do play, marking him, uh, I'll be in for a tough game, and uh, he puts yourself about, and he won't give you a moment's peace. Do you try and avoid getting too tight because he can turn you? Is that, did you just sort of need to stand off him a little bit? Uh, still trying to work him out. The Premier League defenders still trying to work him out. If, if you do drop off him, it's going to create space for players like if he's playing Mares, Demari Gray in, the, in, in between the lines. If you try and cause a gap in the lines, then they'll put it in behind for Vardy's pair. So it's a difficult thing you need to, on the day, you just need to see what, what's the best situation at the time. It's an amazing tie to look forward to though isn't it all those players that you've mentioned rolling off the tongue they are really well known household names in the Premier League uh, and they're coming to Highbury Stadium I mean, it just doesn't get much better than that potentially this is the, the biggest game for the club isn't it uh, yeah obviously you want, we wanted a Premier League side and we got Leicester from a player's point of view you want one of the big clubs away from home obviously if you don't get a chance to play them stadiums in your career uh, it's going to be a tough game, uh, Premier League champions not so long ago. Like I said, just to test yourself against like top international players, uh, see how far off it you are or how close you are to them, whatever way you see it. Uh, it be a good challenge for us. Does form matter? Because it's been a bit patchy, but then you've come good over Christmas. I know you played extremely well in the first half against Bradford and, and ended up losing the game. So does that really matter when you're playing a game of this magnitude? No, I don't think form matters. It's a, it's a cup tie, isn't it? So... The conditions might play a part as well. Uh, obviously, it's an open stadium, it'll be very windy. Uh, Leicester might not be used to those sort of conditions that could play into our hands, but uh, the lads will be up for it and give it their all. Yeah, and, and, and if you could win, what would, it, what would it mean to you and the club if you could beat Leicester City on Saturday? That would be great, beat a Premier League side and go into the fourth round where we've never been before as well. Uh, it'd be history made for the club. Well, like I said, uh, the task ahead of us is, uh, is massive and uh, need to enjoy the occasion and give less of the respect they deserve, but not too much respect.